Hello guys, I'm Kamran from Graphics Crunch and this is our fifth lesson on Element 3D and uh, this lesson is pretty uh, simple to learn. So for this purpose, uh, it's about extrusion. In this way you can create some kind of uh, cool looking uh, objects using Element 3D or uh, there was a dream of somebody to create a realistic 3D text which was really difficult to make but now it's just uh, a click away. So here's the element 3D. I've loaded it. So now I'm going to create a text. And this will be something like GG, uh, that stands for graphics runs in short. Um, so now I'm going to element and custom layers. Uh, I've told you about texture maps, uh, so I'm not going to bother about these. I'm going for texts and masks. You can uh, notice that there are two things which we can extrude text and masks so I'm going to assign this layer to my GG which is uh, my text now go to scene setup and just click on extrude and now you can see it's a 3D model and here I can uh, do some kind of things so bevel scale I can increase the bevel scale so that it becomes a big one and then go downward to path resolution and reverse pathfinding uh, and it messes up everything or it is good in some way but I don't like this and fix hole is a great option and there's a spike filter and these are just the regular transform options and regular texture mapping options so there's our uh, object uh, and we can go to presets and there are uh, 30 uh, presets for bevels given uh, built in in element 3d uh, from which I'm going to get one from here it'll be something like gold on one and it's really shiny and as you can see from the environment it looks shiny so hit OK and just hide this so as you can see we got a 3d um, uh, text which we can rotate and which from which we can make some cool looking intros uh, and it's pretty amazing like you can see it's really nice so now I'm going for uh, masks I've pre-created a mask right here which looks something like this um, cave so now I'm going to create a mask from this uh, sorry a uh, 3D model from this so I'm going to uh, path layer 2 and I'm going to assign the white solid one to it now go to scene setup and click on extrude what would happen? Again, the same text model. Uh, we can fix this by going to the custom path and giving it to the option two. So it made a uh, a thing like this. We can increase the bevel scale to make it a big pathway or a corridor, and we can go to materials and give it a glass material. So it's made up of glass or something gold, or maybe. Uh, something like black hole or like that and I'm going to hide that up and going to group to create now create null object and here I'm going to increase its scale so that you can see it or I know why you can't see it because uh, I forgot to uh, put it into another group so I'm going to scene setup and going to click on two group two and now you can see it I'm going to just scale and resetting the scale down so that you can see it like this. So that's all for this tutorial and uh, if you want to see more there is a whole series of tutorials uh, so please like and subscribe our videos as much as you can so that we can make more and more uh, covering every topic of uh, visual effects. Thanks for watching.